Excellent. I've traveled all the way to Beverly Hills, California. It's a very nice place. It's very high classy and all that good stuff. But I, I was invited here by NVIDIA and I came along with uh, Logan and Kane from Tech Syndicate. And the reason I was invited was because they basically took a GTX 980 full size desktop discrete GPU and they've they've taken these things and they've developed a way to put them into a laptop. That is what this video is all about. A GTX 980 Full size, not a 980M with a mobile thing and all that kind of cut down nonsense on it, but a full 980 and a laptop. So I had like three main questions about it when they first introduced it. The first one, of course, was performance. Is the performance the same on a desktop and a laptop if you have a 980 in both? Let's find out. Here's a quick 3D, 3D Mark test comparison. Uh, right here we have a system uh, with 4770K and a full size GTX 980, and it scores on 3D Mark. This is uh, Fire Strike standard 11,254. Graphic score of 13,561. Coming right over here to our Clevo, which is also using a full size desktop GPU. However, it's uh, in a laptop. And that's the difference, and if you don't believe us that they're actually the same GPU, look at the scores, 11,468, graphic score of 13,424. A little bit of difference in the overall score because they are using different CPUs, but um, that's, that's a 980 in a laptop, and that's the performance. The synthetic test wasn't enough, so we're running an actual game here. This is Shadow of Mordor. Again, looking at the results from the 980 and the laptop from Clevo. Average of 90.96 frames per second, a minimum of 60 frames per second, which is a GTX 980 performance. Ran the same test over here on the full-size GPU. Got an average of, uh, pretty much within margin of error, average of 91, minimum of 62. So again, you have a, a full-size desktop laptop, desktop GPU, in a laptop. Okay, so clearly it's a 980 and a laptop. I, I was pretty impressed. Next up though, they were talking about overclocking. You can overclock the GPU just like you might overclock a desktop GPU. And this was another thought that I had as far as the GPU frequency, because I was like, well, if they took a 980 and they put it in a laptop, they probably have to like underclock it and all this kind of stuff. But despite my hesitation, uh, I think they actually got beyond my expectations and were able to overclock it to like 1300 to 1400 megahertz range. Let's take a look at that. Uh, so just to prove that uh, overclocking is just the same as well. Oh, see, it's just like overclocking on a desktop. Now we're actually pushing this far beyond its limits. We were getting towards about the 1400 megahertz range, but it's easily uh, achieving 1300 to 1350. Um, and it's just like over overclocking on a desktop. Basically you, you set yourself an offset, you get yourself a higher uh, GPU frequency. Uh, you can bump up the memory frequency as well. Um, this uh, is running on an MSI laptop that we're showing you the demo of here. Uh, of course, and uh, it's running the Unigine Heaven benchmark in the background as uh, we fool around with the overclocking settings. Now this laptop is set up in the max fan mode. We wanted to cool the GPU off a lot and see kind of what max overclock we could get. So right now it's uh, 1352 is what it's at. It's been staying pretty consistent. If you want uh, not quite as much power, you can of course turn down the fans a little bit, adjust that to get yourself that nice little sweet spot between performance and noise generated by the fans for the cooling. So this is all very well and exciting, and, and, and an idea popped into my head after I was shown it, because we did some VR demos when we were at PAX Prime. You guys might have seen them, seen them on some of our coverage there, and I was like, oh, you could take one of these laptops with the 980s in it and like strap it to your back and use it for VR and walk around with VR. Well, that may be something that's coming in the future, but they actually did want to show us a VR demo. So that's, it's actually right over here behind me. Kane did a little tester on it. Uh, he was playing uh, Eve Valkyrie, and uh, this is actually the same game that we tested at PAX Prime playing on a full-size desktop 980 Ti, and Kane said, based on his experience, it was almost pretty much undifferent. That's a that's a word, undifferent. Um, I concur. Kane agrees. So Eve Valkyrie is up and running. Uh, of course, there's going to be more VR demos coming on. Uh, the challenge of rendering VR is a lot more in depth than, say, rendering a typical 1080 uh, uh, image on screen. It's actually something in the range of about five times as intense on the GPU side. So bringing a full-size desktop 980 to a, uh, a laptop is going to let you do your VR on the go. And I imagine there's a lot of other applications as well, maybe integrating it into little tiny computers like Nooks or, or Brick systems or something like that. Uh, the 
Zotac Z boxes. I'm sure going to get some of these. But uh, they did have some actual hardware demos. Of course, they had the demos that we were playing on here. And they have some laptops that are coming out. They've been working with a lot of the different laptop system integrators. So uh, we saw, for instance, the MSI GT80, which has a full mechanical keyboard in it, Cherry MX Browns, which is this time around, which I was very happy about. So was Kane. Uh, and then they also had the, the two, not one, but two GTX 980s. So in SLI, 980s in SLI in a laptop, pretty insane. Also, we saw the uh, new Asus laptop. It was just a, a test unit, so it wasn't up and running, but it has a full water cooling assembly on the back of it. So inside the laptop, it has uh, basically a liquid cooling arrangement. So you got blocks, I believe on the CPU and the GPU that's in there. Um, but if you pull the laptop off, there's quick disconnects in the back. So you can take the laptop with you on the go and it has an air cooling solution that'll work. Or when you get home and you want a game, you pop it on that, the quick disconnects uh, connect, and then the water cooling loop starts up, your temperatures drop on your 980 that's in there, and then of course GPU boost takes care of the rest, gets you much higher frequencies, and then you can game much more better. I like using that phrase, much more better. Anyway, if you guys thought this was a much more better video than any of the other ones I've done, then hit the like button. If you think it's a pretty standard video, also hit the like button. If you think it sucked, then just stop watching right now and unsubscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video, though. Thanks to NVIDIA for uh, inviting us out here. Thanks to uh, Logan and Kane for hanging out with me. And uh, th especially thanks to Logan for holding the camera right now. He's doing a great job. I'm not wearing pants. And he's not wearing pants. I anyway. Can't see the straight face. I don't know. How have I not looked? Oh, we'll see you next time, guys.